In the last video we looked at basic graph sketching. You'll sometimes be asked to draw a sketch of a graph where you have to put points of intersection with the axis on. And what we're going to do is look at some examples of that and just do some slightly more accurate curves. Now let's consider the following. We've got the f of x. Now the f of x is just saying y is equal to x by all uh, means. Y is equal to the f of x. The f of x is going to be x squared minus 6, uh, we'll go for minus 6x plus 2. In fact, we'll go for plus 1. What we want to do is draw this graph and show the points of intersection on the graph. So does it factor? The answer is no. So we're going to complete the square. And what we're going to get is x minus 3, taking half the coefficient, all squared, minus 9, and then plus our 1. So we can see now that we're going to have x minus 3 all squared and then we're going to have minus 8. Now if we set this to 0 then we can get points of intersection but automatically we can find its minimum point. This is a positive parabola which we should spot. It's a positive uh, parabola. There's no negative in front of our x squared. So we can automatically pick our place down here and say that the minimum point is a uh, 3, negative 8. We've looked at this as a graph transformation. So let's now look at where this is going to cross the y-axis. It's going to cross the y-axis when x is naught, which means it's going to go through here. Okay? So we've got the minimum point. We've got the y-intercept. Now we need to find the x-intercepts. So let's do that then. So what we're going to do is solve this. We're going to have x minus 3 all squared is equal to 8. x minus 3 is going to equal plus or minus the square root of 8. And x is going to equal 3 plus or minus root 8. Or you might want to write that as 2 root 2. So let's get a rough idea of this. Now the root of 9 is 3. So 3 plus just under 3 is going to be around, around just under 6. 3 minus a just under 3 is going to be around the point 0. Now, what we would do is simply approximate these. Generally, you wouldn't have the graph paper. I'm just sort of showing you how this goes. So there's going to be one solution approximately just here, and then one solution just here. Now, we know, and we can put these on here, we know the parabola, and apologies for my drawing of this, because as you can probably appreciate, drawing on this, essentially what is a skating rink of a, a tablet, is not the easiest thing in the world. So there we go. I even have to be silent when I'm doing it. So there, there we go. Now what we would do is the following. We generally wouldn't have the axis here. So we could draw some axes up. Okay, we could put our axis on. Okay, roughly like this. I think, hopefully you'll see what I'm doing in a second. And we can now, uh, let's just look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Impressive. So we know that this point here was 0, 1. That was where it was crossing the axis. The minimum point down here we said was 3, negative 8. And the points of intersection were just here. They were 3, plus root 8 or 2 root 2 comma 0 and here this one just here was going to be 3 minus root 8 comma 0 okay you might want to write those as 3 root 2 so what we've now done is drawn a slightly more accurate sketch of this graph and this is what we would be expected to do with basic curve sketching we'd be expected to show a minimum point the points of intersection this is why completing the square is good and you may even be asked to show the axis of symmetry, which is be less and less of a, a, a requirement. But the axis of symmetry here is where x is equal to 3. Okay, So this is all the information that we need from the graph. OK, let's do something different. Um, we'll look at graph transformations as well in a, a later video. What we asked to do, for example, on this one, um, what we'll have is y is equal to x squared um, plus 4. 
and then y is equal to um, 2x and then we'll go plus 4 and we would be asked to draw these on the same graph so what we got we got a, a quadratic and a basic linear equation automatically we can draw this quadratic we know that it's going to have the minimum point here x is 4 and we're going to have some basic the basic shape of a parabola if you want to get some idea putting in 1 we're going to end up with 5 okay this will give you some idea putting in negative 1 we'll get 5 negative 2 we're going to get 8 so we're going to have something looking approximately like this okay if I put in 3 3 squared is 9 plus 4 is going to be 13 so we're going to be somewhere up here aren't we okay and somewhere up there so my graph I know is going to look something like this again as rough it doesn't have to be hugely immaculate all we have to do is get the approximate graph shape and then states and points it goes through now we can draw this one slightly more accurately but let's first label this point on here and this is going to be 0 comma 4 when x is 0 y is 4 we've got no intersections with the x-axis it doesn't go down there that's fine. Now let's look at the straight line. Y is equal to 2x plus 4. So let's put this on here. So we know it's going to go through this point and it's got a gradient of 2. Okay. So that looks a good gradient of 2 to me. Okay. It's going up 2 for every uh, one it's going uh, across. So let's just extend that up. And remember this will just keep going up and up and up. So it's going to look approximately like so. Remember, we need a point of intersection. Now we can get rid of our. I say I'm not. I'm just showing you the numbers rather than. Um, so let's just put that one on there. We know we've got this point here at negative two comma zero because when x is uh, on here, uh, when x is going to be, uh, let's just check we've got this on here. So y equals two x plus four. That's fine. So x is negative two. That's fine. So when um, y is equal to 0, x is going to be negative 2. And when x is 0, y is going to be negative 4. So we've got those points. And of course, it's going to go through here as well. So let's get rid of this now. And this is what we're looking like. So what we would often be asked to do is say where this point of intersection is. So we know there's one there and there's one here at 0, 4. So let's find that point of intersection. x squared plus 4 is equal to 2x plus 4. Automatically the, the 4s can cancel. Bringing the 2x over to this side, x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. We can factor it. x, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we know we've got a point here. There's one of our intersections when x is going to be 4, uh, um, uh, naught. x is naught, y is 4. And then the other one is when x is 2. So when x is 2, 2 times 2 is going to give me 4 plus 4. We're going to end up with 8. So that point, although not highly accurate, is going to give us 8. So we've now shown the major features of this graph. So that point down here is negative 2, 0. And this is this one right here. And then we've drawn the quadratic as well. So this is more detailed curve sketching. You'll be asked to find points of intersection. Anytime it goes across the x-axis, you'll have to draw it. So there we go. Um, in the next videos, we'll look at trigonometric um, functions or trigonometric graphs at least, and then we'll look at transforming graphs.